went Who are you that is destroying her? I'm the snake in the family. Go! There is a snake! Mr. Mrs. Patricia, how are you? Your, your name oh, and where are you from? My name is Patricia Pili. I'm from Zambia. Okay, what do you want Jesus to do for you? I want Jesus Christ to heal me. For the past two years, I've been having chest pain and stomach pains. So right now, I'm having chest pain. Hey! I even went to the <laughs> clinic. With sickness in your body. Curse! Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Who are you, you snake? You do see snake in your, in your dream? Yes, I do, man of God. You snake! I can see you. You cannot hide. <coughs> I see you. <coughs> Come out to the name of Jesus. I suppose you out. You snake! What have you done to her? Destroyed her. You destroy her. Why do you destroy her? Who are you that is destroying her? Snake in the family. You say? I'm the snake in the family. You are the snake in the family. What yes. have you done to the family? You snake. I've destroyed them. You destroyed them? Yes. What is your business with them that you are destroying them? I don't want them to prosper. What is your business with that if, that, you know, if, if, if they want to prosper? I don't want them to get my eyes for her. Disappointment after disappointment. Okay, now she's yeah. here already. What will you do? <laughs> nothing. You will do nothing. You are aware of that. No, there's something you will do. You will leave her and her family to the pit of hell. We are, I know what to do. What to do? You must leave this family. What? Two. Three. Stand. In Jesus' name. Said it ain't no view on America. Wait! You can't deceive me. Look at this guy! You can't deceive me. I know where your heart. Yeah, you say, you say thank you. Thank you, what? You say thank you, what? You have me? Who told you that? Guy! You speak that. You stick. Come out! I want to hurt. You can't hide. I want to hurt. Guy, your sickness and go. Die your sickness and go. Hey! Carry and go! Go! Take your sickness. That just pain, take it. That problem, take it. Oh, 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 oh. Our body is not the temple of sickness and diseases. Take it, take them! Take them! Take them! Take them! Take them! I know where you are out. I know where you are out. 
No one told me when I saw you. So when you go, I know. Go! Jesus! Hey! I said you are free. Amen. Why you know you are free? Now check yourself, your heart. You see that, that all those women is gone. Check it and let me know. I am free. They pay me gone. I was putting pain in my chest, but now it's gone. So the demon has taken the sickness, disease, everything he has put to say it's gone. And you will never see it again. Your dream, everything about is covered with the blood of Jesus. No, you do see snakes. I used to see snakes in the dream sometimes, but and sometimes they could just bite it to me. I know. Just there was like a time one that bites you on your leg, and when you wake up, you felt that pain. Yes, I had I had, I had just pain on my left leg, I know. and then the day also I had pain on my right leg. There was one that bite on your right leg. Yes. Tell you, nothing can be hidden from God. Amen. God is God that revealed it to me, so I know. God bless you. You are free. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Morning. When today, tomorrow, and forevermore. My name is Patricia, connecting from Sierra Angel Zambia. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life through the evangelist for David, what he has done in my life and what I'm experiencing right now. The problem started two years ago. I had chest pains, I had stomach pains. I went to the hospital for solution, whereby I was given medicines, but the problem was just still there. It never came to an end. And for my stomach also, I could go to the hospital. I was given medication, but nothing was happening to my stomach. I was not getting healed. So one day, as I was watching YouTube, I met the man of God on YouTube. I sent him a prayer request. From there, after the prayer request I sent him, he connected me to Not Mine, the Choice TV, the group which is in Zambia. That's how I was connected. From there, I talked to evangelist. Joshua and then I was put on Zoom one-on-one -on -one. that was on the 18th of November 2022 then after that encounter with the man of God I had he told me to say uh, about he told me actually about the snakes that was there in my family the Asian snake and I was prayed for when he was praying for me I could feel like and act like a snake because the snake was in me and the dream that I used to have, we talked about it and for sure I had dreams whereby I could see snakes in the dreams and that those things started like one day I was sleeping when I had to wake up I found physically something looked like a snake from there I had dreams of snakes where I could jump on snakes then the other one I had to bite my left leg there was one that bite on your right leg Yes, and also the other one had to bite my light rig. From there, I could feel the pain when I wake up from the dream. So that has been tormenting me. I also had a spiritual husband, and I had a lot of disappointments in my life. Even in relationships, when it comes to relationships, whatever I do, everything, it's delayment, disappointment, a lot of things never went the way they're supposed to, 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 to be actually. And then I also experienced backwardness, stagnation, sickness after sickness. 
because of those problems that I had. But that encounter brought a breakthrough in my life. I never had peace. I worried. But today, I'm testifying to the God, the God of Evangelist Paul David. After that prayer, it so happened that I felt the electric shock. I was delivered from that Asian snake. And from that day, I started vomiting. That was on the 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th, 1st and 22nd. I used to vomit. After that vomiting stopped, my dear brethren and sisters in, in Christ, indeed, our God that we serve does never sleep. And indeed, He is a good God. When the time is right, He makes things right in its own way. From that time, I stopped vomiting. I experienced peace in my life. I've been healed from the stomach pain. I've been healed from the chest pains. For my stomach, I even went for the scanning. They checked the scan and everything is normal. So I glorify God. I thank God for that healing, for that touch from the man of God. Indeed, he is a real man of God. Thank you, evangelist. Thank you, Jesus, for my healing. My advice to you people, whenever the man of God is praying for you, just connect with faith in your heart. Everything is possible. Our God does not sleep. And what he doesn't do does not exist. So I advise you to stay connected in the things of God. To stay connected to the man of God. He is a real man of God. And just have faith that one day things will change. Your time will come just like mine came. I'm a happy soul. I do not worry. I do not even like think a lot the way I used to think. But this time around, I'm a happy soul. I sleep like a baby. I wake up. I go for work. I do things that I never used to do because of the healing and the deliverance that I received. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Continue to pray for people just like you did. Continue to bring all souls to Christ. I thank you. I glorify you. And my prayer life has changed indeed. I'm a pastor. It's your prophetess of God. And I thank God that my prayer life is back to normal. Everything is just back to normal. And I know the best is yet to come. Thank you, Jesus. Oh.